Hello, my dears. Um, I'm on a channel. My apologies that this is straight up and down. Uh, it's just, I, I, I just finished recording my full moon in Scorpio video, my three gray aliens that I've mentioned so many times. Sorry, my hair, it gets bigger the more I channel, the more. And so my three gray aliens, as I was, you know, about to channel my guides, wanted to come through. So I'm going to do a whole, I'm going to just channel my three gray aliens that I've mentioned for a while are with me and they are not my spirit guides. They have been here to observe my, what they have called exponential growth for this time period. A lot of it has to do with the nodal transit that um, North Node, pardon me, and South Node for me. But it's been just kind of, and like I've said in other channels and in other like past life videos, like it's like coming from behind my eyes and pushing through. And so they are talking about food today so I'm just going to completely ground and just sit so I'm going to I know I very rarely can't see much except for all the etheric stuff and so I want to try something I want to try it Oh, it's stuck. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So I have three gray aliens here, and they're, you know, short, and they're more... They're saying, like, worker bees, but at the same time, they're like quote unquote stuck here and they come from different dimensions they come from a different time and space where like they're giving me the parable of Chiron and the centaur and they are you know like we're good guys we're nice we're and they're so chill they're so cute like when I'm driving down the road they're just like bopping along and you know they've really helped me with my um, not smoking cannabis anymore They've been with me since like autumn of 2023 and they'll be with me until about like 2026, 2027. And then new interdimensionals, multidimensionals will come in. And they're like, it'll be more hands-on. So that's super exciting. Um, I'm asking like, where did they go? They'll be able to move on to source. They'll be able to move on in ways that like, I don't have to understand and I don't have to explain right now in any capacity, but, and it's very much with the Pluto transit. There's a lot that like a lot of souls and a lot of consciousnesses and a lot of interdimensionals and multidimensionals are coming to be helpful for the awakening and the ascension of the planet right now that are healing their own like ancestral lines for lack of better terms. It's very much like we're communicating telepathically. Like I don't even see them with mouths. I see them with like the eyes and like the nose like and it's very much like they're doing what it is that they need to do to completely purify themselves to be able to move move along not move on but like move along and so a lot of beings from all over the universe, the multiverse, are coming to help and coming to help, you know, star seeds, coming to help human beings, coming to help protect, coming to help bubble. And they're there in ways that don't make sense to a lot of people. They don't make sense to, um, like, like I have three Arcturians that are also here and they're observing what's going on and like they'll help take over. The Greys are saying like they'll help take over after the Greys are gone, but it's very much because I've been able to vibrationally sink down and ground in and be a vibrational match for them and be open to them and to be able to kind of like, I purposefully am removing the like seal from my human body it's kind of the parable that I've given before where like, you know, when you buy a, like a, a stove or a, 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 you know, a new appliance and you've had it for a while and then you're doing a spring cleaning or an autumn cleaning and you didn't recognize that that film is still on it. And then when you peel it off, you're like, oh my God, it's like a brand new machine. 
That's what the Pluto transit is doing for a lot of people. And because they're saying that like the human avatar, Sarah, is doing things in a very efficient way and kind of like really spearheading through the darkness of what, you know, she's um, avoided in other lifetimes before and finding humility and a humbleness to herself that they're here to be helpful. The more we offer in a very sacred way things to the world, the more help we receive. And so I'm very, very grateful for them for showing me that image. And so I, I would love to get back to the food aspect of it. Um, I, so I've had a few clients that are really removing um, meat from their diet for a time period. And, you know, I for myself for many years did not eat beef, but now I really appreciate um, animal meat and have gone to a more not meat-based diet, but, you know, ingesting, like, a whey protein powder, which they're saying, like, even that, like, overdoing it isn't the best. Having it as supplementation, full-body chill, is an amazing thing, but not for full meals. So that's good. That's not just for me, they're saying. And so my human is making sure that this information can be accessible for a lot of the people watching and it's not just specifically for me but what they're saying is that i'm showcasing to them what they can do and just by listening and by watching this it's integrating certain light codes and understandings and when you're ready for your galactic disclosure when you're ready for your grays your angels to come in you have to declare it there is a big law of non-intervention and it's very very important that you have to invite them in and utilize very, very safe protocols, safe understandings, and safe foundations to not allow just anybody in. And that's something that, like, I've been channeling for a really long time. And I've, and you know, go back and watch some of my like 2021 videos where it's like I've made mistakes. I've, you know, my inner adolescent has come out while channeling. There's so many things that have been quote unquote embarrassing to my human that like I put out there just to be like, hey, you know, you can do it this way, but like try it a different way. And so. They're saying the food, so they want to go back to the food really quick, that the food we eat either grounds us or brings us back up again. And so a lot of people might be experimenting with, you know, fasting, experimenting with, um, you know, removing certain things from their diet, and they just want to be aware that, like, you need to stay grounded. You need to stay in a space that feels good for your human body. And so a lot of us are going through whether we're too exhausted to exercise. They're like, that's great. Then sleep. We're, you know, eating sugar like it's a food, food group. Awesome. Try to remove the, you know, fake sugar and eat, you know, like they're just showing me like Buddy the Elf, like the maple syrup and stuff like that. And so it's like, I'm in no way a nutritionist or a health professional and literally channeling gray aliens right here. So please don't take anything that I say as doctrine, check in with your team before you do any of the things that I've recommended. Like, please just utilize this for educational purposes only for anything else, um, for lack of better terms. But, and a lot of people that have gone from very vegan lifestyles are recognizing that that was so rigid and so structured. So they're putting the word intuitive eating on the on the blackboard and they're writing it in chalk and then they're crossing out intuitive and they're just saying like eating what if there was no label to how you eat what if there was no standard what if there was no rule book as to what you're ingesting and why and also they're like showing me like food on a cafeteria line but it's like your cell phone is something that you're eating the content is something that you're eating even like looking at things that you don't want in a way to learn something might like that that sticks in your eyes in the same way that like your eyes and your soul have to digest for lack of better terms in the same way where you eat something that's not the best for you and you're like or oh, i'm gonna feel this later or you know like my human sarah she utilizes the phrase like i'm choosing violence i'm eating sugar today and it's like i don't poop for a few days afterwards and i deal with that when i eat gluten on a regular base basis it actually makes me sad it makes me a little bit more depressed depressed not depression but like i'm sad and so I can have it in small portions. I can have it in small doses, but I use coconut sugar for my sugar. I use maple syrup. I use honey. And then I use, whether it be like um, the Bob's Red Mill flour, uh, you know, gluten-free flour, whatever that may be. And I just figure it out. And I just figure it out. They don't want 
what happens, the negative side of things that happen to the food to be something that is fear-based. So they want you to be aware that yes, there's been so much manipulation. Yes, there's been so much like bad guy stuff coming in, like the nefarious type of stuff that's coming in. But your mind is so powerful that you can overpower anything. Even say you're drinking a glass of red wine and you, you know, aren't a big drinker, like your vibration, like this is celebratory. This is a delicious Barolo. This is going with my steak. This is going with my salad. This is really going to like bring out the flavors and like they want everything to feel like a celebration, like an effervescent popping of a champagne or a, a Prosecco and, and ingest with reverence. And try to find ways to bubble yourself and try to find ways to the referencing Sarah's protocol again. And so I will really do another, I will put that together and 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 give that as a free offering for you. It's very, very important. Like if you've ever felt scared by anything, just tell those beings that you're covered by Sarah's protocol. It transcends time and space. And then when you're ready to take over that protocol, it's very, very simple. I am grounded, I am safe, I am sovereign, I am bubbled, I am invisible, I'm protected. Like it's very, very simple. But I will put together a more um, in-depth video on that for you. The oldest of the greys or the tallest of the greys is talking and it's like like the tallest hobbit basically is what they're saying and it's just there's a big power of three the power of three is an incredibly like the triketra the trinity um it's a very very big uh sacred geometry a big a big thing so definitely whatever that means for you the power of three is a big like three 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 a big deal a big deal and so whatever that means for you, they're just they're they want to be as accessible for as many people as possible that are connecting to this content. And um, and the water and praying over the water and really doing work with the water that you drink, the water that cleanses and clears you, just talk to it in the same way that you would talk to a person and and ask it to do things like they they want. It's funny, I'm channeling gray aliens and they're like, we wanna make this accessible. We want everybody to be able to invoke the power of water and the power of the animals and the power of the aliens and stuff like that. So they want to make this as accessible as it possibly can be for you. So try it on try on like I you know this water cleanses and clears me and it takes all the guck away it takes everything away that doesn't serve me please cleanse and clear me and asking the water what does the water need from me they just want you like drinking tap water It's not the best. It's not the best. And so do a lot of this work if that's something that you ingest, but know you don't have to be so strict about any of the things that you're doing. They don't want you to get lost in that. Like there are many times that I'm driving and I see my gray aliens like, they're dancing. They're having a good time. They're, this is meant to be an enjoyable experience. This is meant to be a very enjoyable ride for everyone it's scary but it's like when you were a kiddo and you went through the haunted house second time around and you got all your buddies with you and you're like nope 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 I got you like that type of stuff they want you to know that you're safe they want you to know that you yourself have your own vibratory beings that are with you this could be animals this could be you know angels this could be and it's very very quantum it's very very quantum and they're going to come and go they're going to change and it's all about your vibration and being a vibrational match for certain beings at certain times sorry one of my like real divine guides is coming in and he's like he's saying that like he chose these grays to be here right now and so your guides your spirit team and your higher self 
like there's tiers of beings like the higher self is the top like your soul your future self your guides your your interdimensional multidimensionals your angels are all around so it's like a pyramid type of image that they're giving me and he's saying like your soul knows your soul knows who's there your soul knows and your human knows and maybe for people that do wear glasses take them off and do the same thing that Sarah's doing and see what you can feel in the room um for people that have you know perfect image just do some not like candle gazing but like ways to soften your eyes and you know those like pictures that like you're here and then you soften your eyes and all of a sudden it's like dinosaurs and stuff like that it's kind of like that that's like the first step of being able to see but you have to be open to it you have to welcome them in and be ready they want to ask this community like how can sarah how can i how can my guides offer you more information that makes it safe for you to be open to these types of things what is it that we can what questions do you have what is it that we can do as a collective and with this platform over youtube what can we offer for you to understand how safe you are to be open to this They want to turn the lights on in a dark room for you so you can see things in a very accessible, very clear, very beautiful way that is not intimidating, that is not embarrassing. And for parents that are watching this, your kiddos um, see their guides very, very clearly. And that's, you know, the imaginary friends, if you will. And so just know that that's an actual divine guide, a protector for that ancient being. The kiddos nowadays are more ancient in, like, it's kind of like the younger human you get, the older the soul. And there's variables all over the place, so just know that. But just, like, in general, in gen pop way, the babies are like the ancient ones. They want to close with those questions and just offer as much validation that the, there's a few people that have been seeing their guides and have been seeing things and just know that if it is scaring you that you are safe and covered by Sarah's protocol. You are safe and covered by I am bubbled. I am safe. Nothing nefarious can touch me. I call my energy back to me. These are just massive, broad brush strokes that you can utilize in your daily life. Just know that your ancestors, your angels, your guardian angels, every being that is with you is incredibly proud of you. Incredibly, incredibly proud of you. And in awe. And asking them directly for what it is that you need and what you want. Those are two very different things. But knowing what your human needs and what your soul needs calls for you to do what your soul wants two very different things but are both equal in worthiness and one cannot be without the other that was awesome i love you so much please comment below love you